is one resurrection that troubles the religious. These religious ones have grown up with the strange teachings of Rome. Most Catholics believe only in one resurrection in the end of age. Here is what they believe taught by Tatian the Syrian. Quote, We believe that there will be a resurrection of bodies after the consummation of all things. End of quote. Who was Tatian? Tatian became a pupil of the second century Roman theologian Justin Martyr and converted to Christianity. They are great historic figures in Roman Catholicism. Justin Martyr also believed in the next resurrection happening at the culmination of the end of age. Here the quote of Justin Martyr. The prophets have proclaimed his Christ two comings. One indeed which had already taken place was that of a dishonored and suffering man. The second will take place when accord with prophecy he shall come from the heavens in glory with his angelic host when he shall raise the body of all men who ever lived. Then he will clothe the worthy in immortality but the wicked clothed in eternal sensibility. He will commit to the eternal fire along with the evil demons. First Apology, written in A.D. 151. Those that believe they are going through the tribulation are really indoctrinated by Rome. It is interesting to note that those who oppose Catholicism also cry the loudest about the Roman Antichrist, and yet they themselves are the seed of their teachings. Matthew chapter 27 verses 52 through 53 is our text today. And the graves were open, and many of the bodies of the saints which slept arose. And came out of the graves after his resurrection, and went into the holy city, and appeared unto many. This verse is what many of the religious would like to ignore or to take away from Scripture. It proves a limited resurrection that had already taken place. I would like to say it was the first fruit resurrection unto the Lord. A resurrection limited in scope, but nevertheless a resurrection of the dead. The timing and scope of this resurrection is strange according to Catholic dogma. And it's contrary to what Rome teaches about end time only resurrection. A resurrection mentioned in their fourth Letarian Council of 1215. Here it is. Quote, infallibly define that at the second coming Jesus will judge the living and the dead to render to every person according to his works both to the reprobate and to the elect all of them will rise with their own bodies which they now wear so as to receive according to their deserts whether these be good or bad Romans chapter 2 verses 6 through 11. Constitution number 1, end of quote. If you notice by our text today that the dead, or the reprobate, was not raised at the resurrection of Christ. It was a special resurrection, perhaps consisting of only 10% of the saints, like that of a first fruit offering. If we examine the resurrection in Matthew 27, it would reveal that it was more like the rapture of Enoch. Genesis chapter 5, verse 24. And Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. Enoch walked with God and was no more. Just like the saints that went into the holy city and appeared unto many, they mysteriously disappeared, for God took them. It is one passage of scripture that remains a mystery as to their whereabouts after being seen in Jerusalem. They were no more. Some of the early church failed to see that the first fruit rapture was just a forerunner of the blessing that is to come. The first great harvest of Pentecost will be seen in the future in the next rapture, resurrection of the saints. The rapture of the church of Jesus Christ will not just be a sheath of first fruits and Passover blessing, 
but a full spring harvest unto God in Christ. Many of those today who teach against the rapture of the church have falsely accused them that the origin of their rapture comes from a little Catholic girl, Mary MacDonald, and yet they themselves are embracing the Roman Catholic view of the resurrection, of only one resurrection. Our fathers, they say, only had one view of the resurrection, and that is in the end of days of being both to the reprobate and to the elect. Well, if you believe that, then you will make a great Catholic and should also be prepared to march with Rome against all free-loving Christians. That is, according to your end-time teaching, that Rome is the Antichrist, which you fervently teach. Well, this is Larry Zorro. Take care. God bless. May the rapture of the church happen soon. See you later. Bye.